the rugged Oregon coast. Among these cliffs and terraces are some of the most pristine natural areas in America. And out beyond the beach lies a treasure at least as valuable. Now, new state legislation will protect nearly 200 square kilometers of Oregon's ocean, safeguarding these waters for future generations. The Senate Bill 1510 is, the, is a, sort of the, the product of a long journey. We're going to be able to look back on this day as the day that we laid the foundation for future generations of Oregonians to manage uh, our uh, ocean resources in a way that benefits the environment, the communities, uh, and, uh, and those who depend on the ocean for their economic uh, well-being. The new areas to be protected cover nearly 9% of the state's coastal waters, home to yellow-eye rockfish, lingcod, and hundreds of other fish and bottom-dwelling species. Like many other U.S. coastal areas, this rich, diverse environment is threatened. Traditional management has focused protection species by species. This new law takes the full ecosystem into account to promote long-term ocean health. Moving forward, the state will conduct at least two years of baseline studies before the measures are put into effect on the water. As we implement this bill, we will begin to learn more about the species that live in these areas, plants and animals that dwell in and out of these areas, their interactions with each other, um, and how that relates to us as uh, stewards of the ocean. Creating marine reserves will allow ocean ecosystems to bounce back from unforeseen uh, situations like oil spills or ocean acidification. That's a direct benefit. Once the protections are in place, here at Cape Perpetua and farther north at Cascade Head and Cape Falcon, local stakeholders and fishermen are open to the likely benefits from the new policies. I'm a sixth generation Oregonian and I've been fishing for probably the better of two and a half decades of my life. Whether you're a, a conservationist or a fisherman, we both had the same goal in mind, which is to protect for future generations the resources that we all like to utilize here in uh, the nearshore waters of Oregon. There's a lot of different ways that we feel this could be advantageous to us. Not only to have a protected area that, that lets fertile female fish get big and have better spawn, but also to draw the needed science to support our fisheries here so we can hit that sweet spot of sustainability. When you think about it from a purely economic point of view, our economy is based largely on tourism. The businesses in town couldn't survive just on those of us who live here. So protecting the ocean in general is a good idea. Specifically for us, it's a good idea because that's what people come here to see. I think, you know, really what it comes down to for us about marine reserves is that I hear fishermen say repeatedly, I want these fish to be here for my kids. And now, of course, as we get older, for my grandkids. So this is really about building resilience into fisheries where, you know, a closed area to fishing is your savings account. Learn more about the new reserves and protected areas at OurOregonOcean.org.